we're out here at the Winter Downhill Rim Break World Cup. And uh, the course today that we're gonna be racing on is this course right here. It's a four mile downhill section. It has 1,000 feet of vertical drop on this course, which is 328 meters over 5.7 kilometers. The gradients range from 13 to 16 percent in some of the steeper sections. This is a non-UCI sanctioned event. The last thing we need out here is men in suits telling us how to ride our bikes. But there is some rules to this event and I'm gonna go over those here real quick. With the bike, the bike must be a rim brake bike and it cannot have suspension. Tire choice is completely up to you. Tire size, it makes no difference. The other uh, rules pertain to your clothing equipment. Helmets are optional, but we want to see flat pedals uh, and lace-up shoes. Boots would be the best because just like back in the 70s when they invented mountain biking on lace-up boots on flat pedals. You can wear jeans full length, but you must at least roll at least one cuff. Well, the wind is really picking up out here now. And uh, hey, look, everyone, here comes one of the riders now. Let's see if we can get a few words in with this rider coming up. All right, as this rider makes his way up, uh, this is Axel. He's actually one of the local legends out here. So how was your run, Axel? Tell us a little bit about what it was like doing this course today. It was an excellent, excellent course out there, everyone. So psyched right now. I am, this is just such a great course. I see that you're using a quite an interesting set of equipment today. Do you mind just talking a little bit about the choices you made and uh, why you're running this specific uh, equipment you have? For sure. Uh, but before I do, I really got to say thank you to all my sponsors and I especially want to thank Red Bull for stocking up all my local convenience stores here. It really makes it easy for us to get out here with our psych juice and do these events. So what I have is a custom made downhill rim brake racing bike that I had made locally specifically for this course and uh, for my for my cycling kit here, I do have an aero jersey on because it does help a little bit, but to stay within the spirit of this event, I am running the cutoff jean shorts and, but most importantly, most importantly, I'm running the clipless boots. Now these clipless boots I had made just for this event, they have clipless cleats on them, but then when you're hitting and you're shredding through the corners on this course, you can still get your boots out and slide the corners like you need to to win this kind of event. Well, thank you very much for your time, Axel. And, uh, oh wait, hold on one second here. I'm just getting word in from the race organizers. Is that right? Well, congratulations, Axel. It looks like you are currently in the lead of the race overall. Wow, that is really exciting. Uh, it's, it's anyone's guess at this point. You know, there's a lot of tough competition out here today. So I'm just going to go head back to the pits and I'm going to keep a real close eye on the screen. And, you know, I'm going to, we're going to keep a close eye. That's all I can say for now. And we'll see. This is coming down to a very close race, everyone. We have the next rider up, the next and final racer today. It is the one and only Miss Cools. Now, for some of you out there, you may have heard her name before. She comes from randoneering, but has really developed an, an acute sense and skill for downhill rim brake gravel racing. And uh, she's up next, so I'm gonna have to put this mic down. Everyone else is out taking care of things, so I'm gonna have to stage Miss Cools for this final run. So everyone, sit back. This is gonna be a real close race, and uh, let's see what Miss Cools can do today. All right, are you ready, Miss Cools? On the count of five. Five, four, three, two, one, go.
it. Ladies and gentlemen, you have a new world record holder as she makes her way down here to the pits. Miss Cools, Miss Cools, can I ask you a few questions for the for the audience out there? How does it feel to be a new world record holder? Well, actually, I kind of don't know what to say. I wasn't uh, wasn't really prepared. I wasn't even really prepared for the race. I just I showed up and I was right.